I don't know what I would have done without the Thais Clinic. Oh, this is a wonderful program. You guys are the best ones to have here. Also, I don't know, so much fun. You have fun with them, huh? Yeah. Yeah, they do a good job, don't they? Yeah, I do. Hi, my name's Ethan. I like the STARS class. Um, I like my team that's helping me out. And um, I like the class. I'm Shamika. Thank you for all you do. And um, having someone who cares about you and listens to me. My name's Marcus. This I know a Josh for a long time. Um, happy duty use for the Ties program. Um, I've known Josh for a long time, and it's great working with him. Hi, my name is Elisa Reed, and I have taught in the Oregon School District for 16 years. And in that time, I've got to work with Ties quite a bit, and I'm thankful for all the services they've offered my students and the families I've worked with. Uh, John Meislevin, I work with community ties um, staff to help me improve my programming for those kids. It means a great resource that I rely upon, uh, especially when I've got a challenging situation and um, I'm all out of ideas and, and community ties helps get me more ideas. When you think of ties, what do you think of? It's a nice building, good place to I learn and have good meetings. Mm -hmm. And who do you think about when you think about ties? Josh. Josh is a nice, kind person. He teach person to... He's uh, a good teacher? Good teacher. What else does he do for you? Or has Take me out for lunch and go out for workouts at the YMCA. He's a good guy. There's yep. good people at Good ties. people. Hi everyone at Ties. This is a, a, a thank you from the staff at Options and Community Living for all the great work you've done over the last 30 years. We don't know what we'd do without you. Hi, I'm Alice. I got hooked up with Ties, I believe, in 1991, meeting Paul and our friend Danny. Um, I guess I'd like to say I really appreciate the option of having the safe house available to people who find themselves in some kind of a crisis um, situation and really don't have any other options or place to go. The Safe House has provided space for a lot of people I know over the years. Uh, I just want to say I really appreciate um, all the wind nurses that have been working with people that we support. Um, you guys seem to uh, be available to come help us whenever we need it and we really, really appreciate it. Uh, I really appreciate the variety of trainings that you offer, like managing threatening confrontations. They are all really helpful. I just want to say thanks so much for all the behavioral consultations um, and the unique perspective and all the hard work that um, the behavioral specialists put into helping us figure out the best way to support people. Hi, I'm Julie, and I just want to mention my appreciation of the Thai Psychiatric Clinic. I've been working with them since Meg and Nancy were there and they have really been a valuable resource for us over the years. So thank you very much and happy anniversary. And I'm the other Julie and again I just want to reiterate what everybody has said, said here and just you've been such a valuable partner for options and it feels like sometimes we're just an extension of options and you've just been so helpful to us and I don't see how we could have ever given people the support they've needed over the last 30 years without you. Okay, uh, my name is Ray Rambum and I'm here with my wife Linda and our son Andrew. Uh, it's a special Hi day. Andrew Hi is 30 years old today. Hi this is Hi birthday, so. Hi But through the years as we've worked, whether it's been um, the school program or the summer program, uh -huh. or even the early uh -huh. childhood program, uh -huh. Hi Just wait. Um, Hi across all those environments, whenever we've had behavioral problems, 
behaviors get in the way of all those other good helps, and, and um, that's where we've been able to call and had the, the um, expertise of, usually it's been Josh. Josh has been working with Andrew now for I think, 25 years, we were thinking. Yeah, it's been a long time. But the, I think the, the thing that has meant so much is Josh would come to our home, and he knows Andrew. He's gotten to know him. He knows what his strengths are. He knows what he's like. He's got, he's got a relationship with him. So when we have behaviors that are interfering with Andrew getting along with other people, um, Josh comes on board and you know kind of helps to figure out what's causing the problem, what we can do about it, um, and has even done some staff trainings in the school, in the summer program, um, and it's just been, I just don't know what we would have done without it. My name is Sergeant Eugene Worley with the City of Madison Police Department. I've worked closely with the Wiseman Center and the Community Ties Program for the past eight years as a patrol officer, mental health liaison, full-time mental health officer, in training and standards, and now as a field supervisor. The Community Ties Program is a critical community partner with our department and mental health team. We work closely with Community Ties to develop safety plans for individuals, problem solve behaviors that might generate law enforcement contact, both proactively and reactively, engage in community training sessions for citizens, our officers, and organizational staff, and we continue to develop innovative ways to reduce stigma and divert individuals from the criminal justice system. On behalf of the City of Madison Police Department, I would like to personally thank all of the staff that we have worked with over the many years of our collaborative approach and partnership. Congratulations to the Wiseman Community Ties Program on 30 years. We look forward to continuing to grow and strengthen our partnership in the future. Thank you. Who says so well gets an I I guess um, uh, Don's known me 18, 19 years, so I suppose uh, uh, that's how long I've been with, uh, with Ties 2021 or something. Uh, well, or <laughs> maybe longer. Uh, um, uh, What's some uh, of the things he's I've done? been with Paul, Paul White helped me out of conduct of late conduct, and and I guess um, that I've been seeing Axel every so often, and and Don's really helped me learn some like quieting the voice of. Uh, He's special, special to me because he's the, been an interior designer. Like, I love the door right here. Um, I did the whole kitchen a lot. He's done for me, painted. Uh, uh. Hello, my name is Kevin Keesley, and I'm the Executive Director at Avenues to Community. I'd like to congratulate Community Ties on 30 years of service to this community. I had the good fortune of working for the Crisis Response Program from 1999 until 2005, and during that six-year period, I had the best boss in the world, Axel Younger. So um, the impact that Community Ties has had on the lives of people with disabilities is immeasurable, and um, congratulations again on 30 years and here's to 30 more. Hi, I'm David Petoniak, and I want to congratulate Ties on celebrating its 30th year in service to people with disabilities and their families. And actually, in uh, behavioral support program terms, uh, you have to multiply it by seven, like you do dog years. So it's actually 210 years we're celebrating today. That's just amazing. Um, in all seriousness, though, I want to uh, just say that TIES has been such an important part of the community in Wisconsin, the entire Wisconsin community. It has for 30 years with incredible integrity, uh, supported people that are often marginalized and uh, people that are pe others give up on really quickly uh, because of their problem behaviors. But Ties with Integrity uh, has just done extraordinary work for 30 years. So my congratulations to everyone there. Keep up the good work and here's to another 210 years. 
graduation ties. I'm really delighted that you get to celebrate this birthday, and I'm rooting that you'll be celebrating another 20 years down the road. You've done great things for the community. You have contributed significantly. And hopefully people will understand how critical your support is to assisting people with disabilities and their families to be full citizens. Thank you again. We're with you. Hi, Paul White. Hi, Paul White. This is Helga Shry. I remember my support plan. I remember the good days we had together when we were best friends at Badger Prairie. And now I'm going to be teaching a Zumba class pretty soon. I love it, Paul White. Bye. In collaboration with people with disabilities and their allies, TIES has created a distinctive and positive approach to support. This has allowed many people who might otherwise be left out to live good lives in their community. Happy birthday, Ties. My name is Bill Davidson. I support it with community, community Ties. Um, community Ties. And I really appreciate Sean and uh, what he does to support me is with devote, development disabilities and his job is to support me with the care that, that he helps me with my feelings, emotions, and techniques, and I've been doing that for a few months, and I just appreciate Sam and Sean, everything that they do. Thank you. My name is Katie. I have Sean as my behavioral specialist. Ryan does house mods for me, and I sometimes use crisis staff to fill. Hmm. That means I have someone to talk to that I'm having problems and they help me in crisis when I need to have help and stuff. Um, and it's really helpful because all the people at Ties are really nice to me. My name is Laura Hinnish and our connection um, to Community Ties is through our son Brett. Um, we were going through uh, major struggles many years ago and Ties came into our lives by helping us to make his home safe. Uh, also later on when he moved into a community support home they were able to help with the discharge planning from the place that he was from and the setup of the home. They also have um, helped us with at meetings being able to help us get a wind nurse so that when he was having some medical issues were able that were affecting his behavioral um, struggles, we were able to have her help us. They also directed us to the safe home for when he was dysregulated and unable to um, be safe in his current living um, situation. Uh, I want to say that uh, community ties means that our son gets the chance to be able to live in the community, live, go to school, also live um, in a real home, and that um, with their help he's successful and safe and there's no need for an institution for him. Um, the Thai staff is phenomenal. Not only are they dedicated and knowledgeable, but they're also compassionate and they want your child or your relative um, to be able to be successful in a community just as much as you do. I... My name is Lynn Breedlove. I worked at Disability Rights Wisconsin for a long time. And over the years, I developed a very strong awareness of the importance of community ties and what a unique resource it was. Um, I came to appreciate the fact that if families have support and allies to help them, when it seems like their son or daughter's behavior was really endangering that person's chance to stay in the community, that that was a wonderful thing to have. And unfortunately, in most counties in Wisconsin, people don't have that, which is really unfortunate. Later on, I facilitated a strategic planning process for community ties and the other Weissman programs uh, that are linked to that. And that's when I really got to know the staff better and appreciate the amazing skill level and the specialty skills that the staff have, which I think are unique in Wisconsin and 
maybe even unique in the United States. I'm, I'm not aware of other examples of an outfit like Community Ties in any other state. So I think it's a wonderful asset for Wisconsin. Hi, we're the Dorns. I'm Don Dorn, my wife Barb Dorn, and Tony Dorn. Tony was born with a rare genetic disability called prader willi syndrome, and through the years has received a lot of help from Community Ties. Um, Tony had a lot of challenging behaviors, and as new parents, we needed guidance. Um, they helped us with helping and helped him with getting friends and keeping friends. And when he went through a period of time, um, and situations where his behaviors became more problematic, um, they helped us, they helped the school learn strategies and learn ways to um, make life more successful and make Tony a little more happier. Um, it, they also provided a safe haven when Tony's uh, behaviors really escalated and he even got to spend a, a night or two at the safe house. Yeah. Yeah and provided us then with a chance to regroup and re-energize. And uh, we want to just thank you for helping us get through some very challenging, uh, stressful times, and we're forever grateful. And we hope that Community Ties can continue and help other families in the future, because we certainly did benefit from their assistance and support through the years. My name is Corin Riley. My connection to ties has been since I was in high school. I've worked with Paul White, Josh Lappin, and now with Chrissy. They have helped me come up with different ways to express myself. I have liked all the people I have worked with at Ties. The people at Ties have become my friends. Happy birthday, Wasteman Center. Hope you have many more years for us. You're awesome. Happy birthday, White Wise Wasteman Center. Wasteman. Wasteman Center. Wasteman. Wasteman Center. Waste. Waste. Not waste. <laughs> well, waste. Waste, man. No, no, waste. 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 Waste, 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 we can always say it. Voiceman Center. Happy birthday. Happy birthday! Hey, happy birthday. Voiceman Center. I miss you, Paul. Hey, happy birthday. Hi, my name is Nancy, and I have a 34 year old daughter, Jenny. The Community Ties program has greatly benefited both of us. Axel Junker and others from TIES have given ideas and support to Jenny's team on behavior. Axel knows Jenny very well and has been on her team for many years. He has done a superb job of guiding us through very challenging and difficult circumstances, always having her well-being first and foremost in our planning. I'm grateful for the safe house that is supported by Community TIES and for the staff that maintains the house. Jenny has needed that service several times in the midst of crisis. Thank you, Axel, Crisis Team, staff, and Community Ties for 30 years of service to Dane County families and consumers. Hello, I'm Monica Baer, the DD Services Coordinator at Dane County. I first became familiar with the Community Ties program when I was a graduate student doing a field placement and um, then as a part-time employee back in 1990 to 1992. It was the Community Ties program that taught me the whatever it takes attitude that I try to carry with me um, to this day. What is your name? Linda. What is your connection to Ties? I got Sean, um, Masha, and Dr. Singer. 
And what does it mean to have ties in your life? To help me with my weight and stuff, and yeah, I'm more happy, and yeah. Sean used to come into my family and talk to me about what's going on with myself. It's such a great program that I started out with as an intern. I learned so many skills, but most of all, it was rewarding to work with families and get to be part of their lives and help them support their children in their home. Not only did I get to see the child grow, but I got to see the parents build their confidence. Community Ties continues to be an important program in Dane County. It is the glue that holds teams together during the tough times, and it also keeps everyone person-centered, focusing on the person, but most importantly, helping people remain in their home, work, and community. My name is Sarah. I work with Sean and as my behavior specialist and Ray Ann for house mods and backup staff. They help me make good decisions and help me in, meet with me for lunch and go over what's on my mind. Paul, we love you. Paul White, we love you. Happy, happy retirement. My name is Bonnie and I have brought my two special needs grandchildren to the Tice Psych Clinic. Over the years, Paul, Angela, and Sean have helped write uh, behavior plans for the kids. They have gone in and trained staff, um, at, especially at like Chris's uh, home where he lives and where April goes to work. I'm just so appreciative of being able to be able to come to the Ties Clinic. So, happy birthday. Happy 30th from the Nifles. I'm Joel. I'm Lara, and we have a son, Alec, that Sue and Sean have helped support. Alec has been our biggest test as human beings and our richest reward. Alec is the face of success and happy endings. We have a collection of people that we call the A-Team. They are individually and collectively the source of all that is good in Alex's world. Our admiration and our gratitude for this team is wide and deep. We would still be lost and stuck in our struggle without all of you. Sue and Sean, for us, you are the face of ties. You helped us navigate, understand, maintain courage and hope during what I call the dark days. Our days are now bright and full of promise. Thank you, Ties. What's your name? Alyssa Aiken. And? Pam Aker. And? Kevin Yankee. Okay. And what's your connection to Ties? You and Dr. Sanger. Who's you? Sean. Okay. John and has, I've known Sean for a long time working at UCP as a service coordinator and Glad to have Dr. Singer as our um, psychiatrist. Ties has been an incredible support. Done a lot of advocacy, helping us find resources, mm -hmm. and uh, just been there throughout. It's been almost eight, nine years now, so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. happy birthday, Ties. Absolutely, happy birthday. Hope you get a big cake. <laughs> So hi, what is your name? <laughs> this is Smiley. Hi, Smiley. What would you like to say to Ties? Happy. Happy. Birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you, Smiley. Thanks a lot. My name's Dr. Justin Keel. Chris Evans. Patricia White. Deb Samacona. Dr. Gary Stark. Several years ago, Milwaukee County Bureau of Health Division made the decision to close long-term care units for individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities. We realized that there was a need for additional community supports to help those individuals. It was at that time that we reached out to the community ties to help us with development of our future programming. We met with 
Paul White and Doxley Junker for about a year, going back and forth with uh, Madison, and they're coming here to talk about how we can try to establish a program in Milwaukee County that was similar to Community Ties in January of 2015. That came to fruition. We began our community consultation team in Milwaukee County, providing similar types of services that Community Ties does. So thank you for all the help, the training, the insight, getting us out and getting our feet wet. We couldn't have done it without you. Thank you, Community Ties. Hi, my name is Katie, and this is Jared and Josh, and we are all former Ties uh, grad students. And uh, now we're working as social workers at Family Support and Resource Center. Yeah. I think one of the amazing things that TIES does is really reinforce the value of the people that we work with as individuals, as human beings, and um, that continues today and carries in our job today. And uh, some of our, our favorite memories, um, looking back on our time with TIES, um, something that we really enjoyed, all of us, was teaching the, um, the STARS class. We learned a lot about relationships and, uh, you know, just wanted to say thanks, to, <laughs> thanks STARS, taught me a lot. <laughs> so, for all those memories and many more, we are so thankful to have had TIES around uh, for our years that we've been with them. And, the past 30 years they've been in the community. We hope for 30 years and many more beyond that. Um, and now we know that, you know, as case managers, we can continue to collaborate with them and trust them to be awesome supports in the community. We are David and Amy Spade. We're here to congratulate Community Ties on their accomplishments and their anniversary. Community Ties came into our lives when our daughter was experiencing extreme behaviors. And that's when we learned that uh, some heroes wear polo shirts and drive hybrid cars. Um, our initial meeting, in spite of our exhaustion and uh, therefore compromising our recollection of the event, Josh knew what questions to ask and why he needed to ask them. And he did not leave until he had clarity on all of our answers. We also are appreciative that Josh took the time to really know us in times of celebration and calm too. Yes, and um, he was there when our son graduated from college, when he first got a job and moved out, and when he became an Air Force pilot. <laughs> yeah. Air Force. Yeah, not just in times of crisis. And just one more thing. We hope to get these designed to celebrate the anniversary, um, but these are t-shirts that have been discussed quite frequently during the um, compilation of Angela's plan. And next step. So, Thank you very much. Congratulations, Josh. Congratulations. Community ties. And run proud. Run with dignity. Run fast. Happy 30th anniversary. Happy birthday, Community Ties. Thank you, Community Ties. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Um, happy birthday, Ties. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, community ties. Happy birthday. Happy happy birthday. birthday. Bye. Happy birthday, happy birthday, birthday. Happy birthday, ties. Happy birthday, ties. Happy birthday, ties. I see you at a party. Happy birthday, community ties. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, community ties. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, community ties. Thank you for helping me.